Hi folks, just a quick part two to the video I did earlier about that poor young man who passed. Again, not, not a good situation, not at all. There are too many. This was Rayshard Brooks that I was talking about. Just about that situation. Um, this should just be a very quick video I've got another one to do after this, so this will be a quick one. Um, hmm. What I realised after doing the other one is, first of all, two points to make. First of all, I'm not saying in any way, shape or form that anyone should go out and start shooting police officers or burning down police headquarters or anything like that. In my last video, I said, why are you burning down Wimpy's? No, it doesn't make sense. If you want to actually you know, burn down something that's relevant to the issue, then go for the police head headquarters or training department yeah because well at least that makes more sense but that wasn't me saying go and do it second point why is it that if a criminal did what this police officer had done mr very shard brooks shot him in the back as he was running away with a taser even if he was trying to tase the other police officer, which I think he probably was. Um, but if a, if a criminal had done this, or someone who wasn't a police officer, had done this to a police officer, would they be facing jail time there? I think the obvious answer to that question is yes. They would most certainly be facing jail time now. So that backs up the point I was saying earlier in the previous video that the police are more important than civilians. Any civilians. Don't care about the colour of the skin. Any civilians. But it also poses one other point. Why is it that criminals are held to a higher standard than the police? Criminals are told, if you do that, that's murder. Yet you can't do that, that's wrong. Whereas police, police are so dumb and so stupid, they're like little tiny babies that you can't say to them, you can't do that, that's wrong. Why are they going to throw a paddy wally? Why can't the police be told the same as criminals that behaving in that way, killing someone for really the slightest reason possible, is wrong? That's murdering somebody. That's, that's manslaughter at the minimum. Third degree murder at minimum. But actually, that copper intended to kill Rashad Brooks. He intended to kill him. It wasn't like the police officer. Oh, I forgot his name. There. I had his name earlier. Um, Charvin is his name. I think Derek Charvin, something like that. Um, it wasn't as if he was trying to actually kill. George Floyd. Because there would have been quicker ways to do that. Whereas at the point of aiming his gun and firing, when the officer lost control of the situation, he then intended to kill Rashad Brooks. Simple. As I say, had that been a normal citizen, doing that. Certainly, as I say, if a police officer got out their taser and was going to taser somebody, a friend, and you shot that police officer in the back or in the front, it would not matter. You would be arrested and charged for the murder of a police officer. Simple. No question about it. That would be the case. But why? Why would that be a case 
If you, a citizen, killed a police officer for doing exactly the same as what Rayshard Brooks was doing. Why should you be held to a higher level, higher standard, than the police should be? That is absolutely a ridiculous situation. If police are seen as more important than the civilians, they must be held to a higher standard. They must be. You certainly can't lower them to a much, much lower standard. That's ridiculous. Because if that's the case, the civilians are most important than the police. That's the truth of it, really. Because you can't say the police are more important, but we're going to hold them to a lower standard because they're blinking idiots. They just want to kill people. But excuse me, how on earth are they more important? How are they better than anyone else? That makes no sense whatsoever. How can you assume in any way, shape, or form that they are better? That is absolutely really ridiculous. There is no rhyme or reason at all. None at all. You should hold citizens to a higher level than the police, but then say that they're worth less than the police. There's a ridiculous point. And it seems to be politicians are the ones who are doing this. Politicians are the ones who have massively uprated the police. But they're so much more important than anyone else. That if they kill someone, it really doesn't matter. Yeah, the slightest excuse is okay for a police officer. Not for a civilian. Oh, no, 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 no. Now, that's murder or minimum manslaughter, that is. But for a police officer, no, that's, that's cool. You, know, you were fearful for your life? That's okay. That's okay. Even though you've had all those years of training, which a civilian hasn't had, even though you've got all these other weapons available to you that you could use before taking someone's life, even though you have options, of using the law. Right, in this case of Rayshard Brooks, they could easily have let him run away with a taser. It didn't matter. The man was drunk. What was he going to do? What exactly was he going to do? He was going to get more drunk and then drop the taser somewhere and fall asleep somewhere. Or he's going to sober up and realise what a complete idiot he's been. You could go around later and get the taser and arrest him for resisting arrest and for drunk driving. But no. You choose to take the action that's going to take his life. If a civilian had chosen that action, they will be facing jail time. Now, how on earth people get to a position of saying it doesn't matter if a police officer does that, but a civilian, it does matter. The police officers are trained to deal with these situations. They should be able to deal with them. You can't expect a civilian to deal with that, this sort of situation. You really can't. Because they're not trained, but police officers are. There is no reason whatsoever for them to not know how to deal with it. Apart from by shooting someone and taking the knife. Well, with this situation, 
that is the truth of the situation so i will leave it at that for tonight because we've got to the truth nothing really more can be said about this right now this will be Rachel Brooks murder part two no it won't this will be why civilians held to a higher account than police officers it'd be one of them anyway it's harder to decide what to call this than it is to see the truth of this situation that is apparent so you take care god bless and i will speak to you soon bye bye